Alrighty, new version. Let's check it out. Ooh, some shake. All right. Cool, I like it. Yeah, it's neat. Let me just see all the different steps that I keep torturing about. I love that little, speaking of steps, hold on, it's the wrong tool here. Love those little steps here. Big aggressive into that. Looks a lot less IK, that's good. Yeah, there's some keep alive in there. Every now and then on something like this, when it goes back like that. It has a slight IK feel. It's mostly just that bend in that wrist and then you go back the way kind of the wrist stays. I know it's super tricky because you're holding, you're holding it. It's definitely a lot better. It's probably moments like these when it's just kind of going straight down and it's minimized by keeping the arms kind of together with the chest. Usually I, I critique you know, where it's like everything moves, moves as one unit and you got to loosen up and break things up where it's the chest, the head, hips and all that stuff. And having, you know, not like arms, all of that as one. But with this, it might help you a bit more to get rid of that IK feel. But it's definitely a lot better. Watch out, something like this, you go back and it kind of pops into a straight and then it's extending, stretching a little bit. I would just soften that pop so it doesn't, like it really feels like a block scale type of thing. And then on that path here, again, this here is a bit straight this way. That makes it look a bit IK. So you have maybe a little bit of rotation in the wrist overall. Maybe you can kind of adjust the grip a little bit. Give us a bit more of an arc into this. It doesn't feel like you're doing this right now. And then it stops a bit abruptly here, going up there. So just overall that beginning arc could be pushed. And then same thing here, you're going back with his hand and then bam, here especially, hit that wall versus a little bit of, bit of an arc in there. I don't mind the, the harsh stop here. because that adds to that intensity, like the looks there. Holding the eyes and the brows. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. And I like the look back. Yeah, that's great. And then the back and forth. So we got Dino guy. Dino goes back. Rawr. Yeah. Guy looks first. Could probably be a little bit. The way you have it here with a little bit of chest up. Let me just see. And then here a little bit more. It's a little bit isolated in here. I know this was part of the model, but I think it, it would help you a little bit. So if I go this, look at the dinosaur, and then a little bit out of the corner of my eye, I see this. And I think if you do a head turn, and like this line here goes up to here, maybe a bit less. So it's not just in here. Because I like that you keep going with this, right? It goes, gah. And because of that repetition, you're more likely to see what's going on there. With this, I think the tongue is a bit loose. La, 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 la. I think it would be a bit faster. You can probably have a like one and then drops and then the rest it kind of stays here and more high frequency head um, jitter. It's a bit loose la, 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 and the head does a little bit of back and forth. I think that could just be shortened up a little bit. And watch out, I'm not sure if that's what's going on there. It feels like from here to here, hold on. Like there, right, to there. It feels like we're almost scaling, stretching that part of the, the skull here and the neck. Watch out. But yeah, I think otherwise, look at him, creature, a bit bigger. We'll look back here, then we can look back here. Then he goes over with a little bit of going up again. Not too much because you do want to have enough room to go into here, but you know, you can always go also a bit straighter up, which then will make this a bit higher as well. 
then drop safe, like I'm out of here. This is a bit sticky. So you let go. And then watch out. It feels like we're going. That's oh, the hand. No, well, this goes to here. No, it's okay. That's good. But then it feels like it lands into sand, which I guess it could. That's up to you to decide. But then I, I feel like the steps and everything that looks more like on rock, you know, like little pebbles here. This is rock as well. So I would probably hit here. And then this bounces up. This goes down. So the staff is more like this. So the spear. So we more. Bum, 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 bum. And then again, because of those steps, that's fine here. And then he runs, looks back. That's great. I like how elevated the head is. And then looks over. That's great. Arr, mama. Arr. Yeah, so great. I love it. That's all cool. Something like this. You can see all that bending here. A bit of a shifting of the weight. And it kind of stops here. So you want to have a bit of a flattening. Maybe a little bit of a side roll. A tiny bit. So that we feel in here there's a bit more pressure there's so much going on it's a bit of more weight shifting and like final polish you're so close to all this and i wonder if during the i'm professing uh dino ignorance here but i wonder if this is too human to make a fist and to make this more like really tense curled fingers <sighs> it's almost was human but I could be wrong. Just a thought. But that's some great offsets there. Steps are good. Again, on that. And then he leans. It, well, there's a camera. We can barely see it. I think it should be fine. It's going to say on this. Bit of display and compression. But I can barely see this. What about the uh, protector here? <laughs> Cool. Oh, yeah. Then we don't stop. But he had it kind of cutting out a bit sooner. Yeah. Great offset and changes in here for contrast. Let me look at the feet if they look a bit soft. No, 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 no. It's cool. It feels like you got some. Spreading up the toes there. It's great. Yeah. That's probably all I have. Looking at this section here. As it gets up. If I wanted to have a little bit of. little bit of drag during this. And then come back up. But it's good that it's curved. Down. It's not like a dog going up here. Yeah, it's cool. I like the end pose. They're more overlappy, so they're more of a unit together. Some good separation for silhouette. Good clarity in there. Yeah, and the camera's neat too. We're in the upper third. It's not quite centered. Let me go down. Ready for this, but it's subtle. I like that it's, it's almost like a bit of a dissipation, but without really telegraphing it too much. And giving us some good, good framing there. If Appy's super picky, this line here just goes right into that. And I, I would probably lower it so it's like that. That's not too bad either. You're just hitting the right way. But I like just here the separation of it. So I think you can afford to just have that stone be that cutting in here. I don't see super picky, but like even here, stone line is right where that tail is. Might as well bring this up of here. Kind of cheat it for super clear clarity in all the lines and everything. And that's kind of that. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.